Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about expression error in Power Query. So let's say um, you can't find a column which is being referenced. So how do you resolve that? Let's start. I've got this Power BI file open here with me and it says there's an expression error. The field actual of the record was not found. So in this case, they're referenced to a field called actual and it cannot be found. So that's what the error refers to. So how you would resolve is, is you'll, you'll start backtracking this one. So you look at the applied step on the left, right side, and you backtrack and you can see that it's saying that the, there are errors on here, actual versus forecast. And if you backtrack further, you will see that uh, we've removed a column. So um, if we go a step further, you can see here that we've got this column called actual, but that column has been removed in the next step and it is being re referenced by another step. So that's the reason. So let's say if I get rid of this removed column step and I'll do that just now. And uh, you can see that error will disappear. So there's no error now. So um, I'll remove this one. So essentially this is where we are at. So how does this happen? So for example, we've got a calculation here which says actual versus forecast and it's depending on, it says for each row, give me the actual minus forecast. So if somebody were to go ahead and then go somewhere before that and navigate to a step before this, the last step, and then essentially delete a column which is being referenced by a step after, so let's, let's say I go here and say remove. And it is going to give me a warning saying inserting an intermediate step may affect subsequent steps, which could cause you a query to break. And let's say if somebody does that and they're not careful and they don't go and check, you will get this error. So you're going to get the expression dot error and that is going to create trouble for us. So the only way around this is to remove this step and then uh, it will it will come back and it, so you can see that this is working for us. So in this video, we've looked at um, a missing column error in Power Query. And the way to resolve it is that you have to start tracing back from the first step onward to see where the things have fallen over. Uh, so we'll just do a quick one again. So we'll remove this and we'll start getting an error. And say, okay, remove that. And then we get an error here, which is we've got an error. So then all you need to do is to start tracing back to see where the error is not coming. Or you can look at the error and see what the error is and it says the field actual of the record wasn't found so then we have to start going through each step and seeing do we have an actual field so it looks like this and once the headers have been promoting we actually have this field and this field was removed but was referenced in uh, the in later step and that's what's caused the problem so I hope you find this video useful uh, to debug any of these uh, missing column errors in power query uh, let me know if you would like me to discuss any other topics. Um, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.